autopilot is going to be set to there. And as soon as we clear this this thing, we're going to set it going. So, um, autopilot on. And... Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we've got this awesome thingamabobby right here, which is a Boeing Vertol CH-46 Sea Knight. Um, it's a lot like a, uh, wait, 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 Navy. It says Navy on it. Uh, it's like a Chinook. It is a Chinook. Almost a Chinook. It's a Chinook. Um, it's got two propellers, as you guys can see. Uh, it's got a big old cargo bay, although it's actually quite small, to be fair. Uh, it's not a huge cargo bay, uh, by any stretch of the imagination, um, but you can close it, which is pretty nice. Uh, we got a bunch of seats on the sides, as you guys can see. Uh, we got a winch, if we wanted to tow anything or lift anything. Uh, we've also got a gun and a parachute. Actually, a few parachutes. Uh, what is this? Does it say anything? It doesn't say anything. Uh, but we have doors on the side, which fold out like so. There we go, we can close that back up if we want to, uh, and that's fine. So, co-pilots on that side, pilots on this side. Let's go ahead and put the collision lights on. The LDG lights. There we go. Uh, cockpit lights, strobe lights. There we go. Everything's on. Navigation lights. Wait. Yeah, navigation lights. Sure. Uh, we don't want that, actually. Um, altitude hold. No. Taxi lights. No. Instrument lights. Sure. Uh, autopilot. No. Monitors. Yes. Uh, indicators. Fuel injectors. Spool engine. Oh, PID. There we go. No spool engines. Here we go. Yeah. We're almost ready to go already. So, of course, uh, you guys might be able to tell this thing is um, powered by a jet. Let's throttle it up a tiny bit. There we go. Nice. All right. It's pretty much ready to go. Turn on lights. Turn on fuel. Switch. Spool. Uh, engines. Turn on PID system. So, we've, we've done all of that. And we're going to throttle up to full. There we go. A full 50. And we are almost ready to take off. Okay, so before we actually take off, we do have a mission, which is this thing right here. Medivac injured fish person from fishing vessel. Uh, and that should be relatively easy to do. So, as soon as we can, we're gonna lift. Can we lift? I'm trying to lift. Our collective is fully up. Uh, maybe we have to wait for the engines a little bit. There we go. Alright, awesome. Uh, I'm gonna turn the auto hover on, because it'll make it a little bit more stable. Uh, do we have an autopilot? We do. Set altitude. Uh, what are we at at the minute? What kind of altitude? 20. Uh, let's go to like 55. There we go. And let's set the GPS to where the boat is. And we should be... Oh, it's literally just there. It's not very far away. Uh, right, so we do this. Pop that in there. Uh, autopilot altitude old on. Good. And then autopilot on. And then off we go. Awesome. Oh, look at that. We got like little monitors right there so we can see below us. Um, I don't know where we operate the winch from. I'm assuming behind us. I, I don't actually know. Is it somewhere back here? Oh, here it is. Alright, cool. Um, so, what the plan is uh, to do is we fly over there. We get very close to the, uh, the fishing vessel. We're going to attach our winch to its winch. And then we're going to try and take it and the injured fisher person to the location. Which I believe is the hospital. I think. Is it? Oh, we don't even have it unlocked, but I can see it. I think it's the hospital. Okay, sure, we've got them in sight. Uh, I'm sat in the wrong seat. I am sat in the wrong seat. Let's sit in this side. What's this? Parking brake? I didn't even realize that was there. <laughs> I didn't notice that until now. Um, uh, but it's not on, so I guess that's fine. We've moved away without turning it on. Off? On. I don't know. Right, um, let's turn the autopilot off. Let's go ahead and select an altitude of like 22, so that should lower us. We'll continue forwards, and we're also going to like turn around so that we can drop our uh, ramp onto the deck. That's pretty much what we want to do, so that's exactly what we will do. Here we go. Everybody ready? Go down uh, to like literally like three. There we go. Hopefully the altitude hold is, is good. <laughs> And three is close enough to the thing. All right, set it to two. There we go. If we were in rougher weather, then that would be awful, but I think we're good. Uh, right, okay, go down here. Open Sesamu. Perfect. All right, you. We're saving you. 
Let's get back on board. Alright, put you in one of the many, 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 many seats. Uh, lower this down. Okay. Where? Probably low enough. Uh. Here we go. Just put it, like, on the boat. Close enough to this, because we don't want it, like, directly on it. Because otherwise, we won't be able to attach. So if we do something like that, that's perfect. There we go. We'll connect those two together. That's good. Here we go. Winch up. Magnet. Right, magnet is on. Perfect. We jump in here. We turn the connectors on. There we go. They should be connected, which indeed they are. Um, and now we're ready to go. You guys, I'm just going to push these guys inside and then we're going to go. Right, okay, I've pushed them in enough. I think that'll be fine. Right, okay, get inside. Go ahead and close this. There we go, ramp is closed. Awesome. Duck underneath there, duck underneath this. Um, that's supposed to open, um, which you can do if you wanted to lower it down through. But we don't need to do that just yet. Uh, let's go ahead and get the pilot seat and gain some altitude to, let's say, around 15. All right, 15. Here we go. That is... Okay, that's not high enough. Let's go to like 50. No, 40, 40, 45. All right, that's that's high enough. Here we go. We're already lifted. We've lifted it. It's it's lifted. It's already out of the water. All right, perfect. Oh, it's back in the water. I don't know whether we're quite strong enough for this. All right, set it over there. Good. Go ahead and plumb it into there. And then go ahead and select... Select it as an autopilot. And off we go. Hopefully it doesn't plow itself into the water. I think we're good. Yeah, we're just going to drag it around this height. That's that's awesome. All right, so I'm going to try and try something quite interesting here. Um, it's going to fly all the way over the island. Okay, we've got that. That is fine. Set as a waypoint. Um, I don't know how tall the island is. Usually, I think they're around 24. Oh, actually, I think the creative island is around 24. Um, so, if we set this to 25, uh, we fly towards the island, and we get to the island. Actually, let's set it at, like, 35. Okay, we might have a chance at 35. Um, as soon as we get to the island, we are gonna... We're gonna get back on board. And when I say get back on board, it's because we're gonna jump out. It seems like a bad idea. But I want to try and jump onto the boat. Ow, it hurt a little bit, but we're on the boat. Perfect. Nobody's flying the helicopter. Yes. All right, this was the test. This is a very good test. Thank you. Thanks, dude. Right, I'm not going to lie. Um, it has taken quite a while for uh, us to get to this point. However, um, it is looking all right. And when I say it's looking all right... Um, what actually might happen here is the helicopter might crash straight into a mountain, um, and, and we'd be boned. However, um, if we are, then we should be able to go in here and the engine should work. Because, uh, the mission was to medevac a person. So, surely the boat should work. Also, being dragged at seven. I don't know what that's in. Meters per second? No, probably not. Uh, I have no idea what that's in. I, I don't know. Um, which is interesting. We've also got a reflector, and we've got the winch controls. So, the reason that the helicopter's this low is because that's how long the, the thing is, the winch wire, uh, cable. If we lowered this down, it doesn't change anything because the magol is also keeping it on the boat, which is interesting that that's working, uh, but it is, which is good. Um, also, as a side note, um, the person that we came to this island for, the mission, uh, is, is in the helicopter. Um, so I'm kind of interested to see what happens here. I'm going to try and run <laughs> and get on the land and hopefully the helicopter will stop somewhere. Oh, 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 it's lost some blades. It went down for a second, but it's fine. Oh, dude, it's going to give it a go. Here we go. Pull. Oh, it's not going to do anything. It's dragged it out of the beach. Wait, the, the Magol's disconnected. Ooh, this might be a good chance to jump in? No. Uh. I don't know what. I don't know how to. Uh. 
Yes! Yes, stay there! No! Dude, it's flying away again! Come back! This might be one of the weirdest encounters I've had with an air or a helicopter. Um, but it's happening, so, yep, that's a thing. Uh, grab a hold. Yep, I'm not flying with it. I am flying with it. Perfect. Uh, I want to press Q and not E. Definitely Q and not E. Uh... I need to try and press the button. I fell off. Ow! I... Yeah, I can't get on! I can't, I can't get in the helicopter. This is so annoying. It's really frustrating. Alright, it's coming in again. It's coming in again. Here we go. Get around the other side, maybe. Actually, no. Just grab it. Dude, sometimes you grab the handles and it doesn't do anything. Maybe on this side, because there's a there's a door handle. I'll oh, I'll just press it and we'll see what happens. All right, come on, come on. This is really weird, really weird and interesting at the same time. Uh, pop it open. We popped it open. Okay, right. Next time it comes in, we'll grab one of those and we'll close it, and then we should be inside. <laughs> I'm assuming this thing still flies fine, although it has lost some blades on the front. Yeah, definitely. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, perfect. Uh, what did we press? E? <gasps> We're in! We did it! All right, good job. Disconnect. Monitor? No. Connector's off. Perfect. Get in the pilot seat. All right. Um, uh... Altitude hold off. Autopilot off. Actually, altitude hold on. That's fine. Alright, keep us in a straight line. That'd be great. Up. Uh, open this. There we go. Alright, we disconnected, right? We did disconnect. Um, however, it is struggling to keep itself in the right... What the? Dude, after all of that? <laughs> Literally after all of that, it, it kapows itself out of the sky. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Well, I mean, I guess we could say we tried. Because we did. We definitely tried. Um, the helicopter itself worked really well. It's not meant for lifting something like a boat. Uh, I guess it's meant for lifting something like... Um, like one of those containers. It might be able to lift one of those. Um, in fact, how about we give that a go? Right, so we spawned in the helicopter again. And um, we're going to try our best to um, fly over to the... Um, the mud pump. So the mud pump is like a big uh, container sized thing uh, And it's gonna be our test for this thing uh, to hopefully lift it now I'm not entirely sure it will I, I have no idea um, But what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on our fuel injection our PID and we're gonna spill the engines We're gonna then turn this to full and we're We're gonna be on there we go beautiful Monitors on, autopilot no, navigation lights sure, instrument lights sure, um, do do do, any collision lights yes, cockpit lights yes, strobe lights yes, landing lights no. Alright, fantastic. Let's go ahead and select this as a destination. We should get there relatively quickly because we're not towing a boat. Um, and yeah, we should be fine. So, let's go up to like 77, 77 seems fine, autopilot no, altitude hold yes. Autopilot is going to be set to there, and as soon as we clear this this thing, we're going to set it going. So, um, autopilot on, and well, isn't that interesting? <laughs> right. Okay. Let's get a new one. Let's get a new one. Hold on. Uh oh. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. I didn't die. All right. Perfect. I don't know why it did that. Right, well, I mean, I, I kind of know why it did that, but at the same time, I don't know why it did that. Um, so it flipped itself over. Maybe the engines weren't fully spilled, or I, I genuinely don't know. Fuel injection, spill it up. There we go, perfect. Monitors. Uh, instrument lights, nav lights. All right, we're ready to go. Uh, altitude hold. One, one, one. Perfect. On you go. And, um... Yeah, we're going to get this thing moving. All right, okay, so we are almost there. Now, the main problem with uh, actually dealing with this place is that there is not really anywhere to land. Um, so we're going to turn the altitude hold on, the autopilot off, and we're going to go down to about 77. About 77. Uh, I want to see what the altitude is at the top of one of these things. Uh, we're going to have to keep it spooled up, so that's fine. 
Um, but we're basically gonna land on the top of one of these domes uh, and have it all oh, over here. Actually, no, it's not even on the truck anymore. Wait, it's literally not even on the truck anymore. Wait, so you, there's no point in bringing a boat here to do that. Okay, right, fine. But, sure. Um, right, okay, it shows how long it's been since. Oh my! Dude, they've got a thing for it! That actually looks like kind of fun, but you know, that's fine, whatever. Uh, we're lifting it with a helicopter today. But I want to use that thing at some point. At some point. Uh, right, okay, whatever altitude we're at now. Uh, 28, let's go ahead and put it in here. 26? <laughs> sure. There we go, turn it on. There we go, that's about right, sure. Okay, open this and lower it down. There we go. Go ahead and turn the connectors on. It's already swaying around. Let's go ahead and position ourselves. Okay. And we're on. Perfect. Alright, fantastic. So, altitude hold is coming off. We're going to start raising it up. And hopefully we can lift this thing. Yes! Alright, so, this helicopter can definitely do this mission, uh, if you need it to, which is perfect, because it's kind of uh, a useful mission to do. Now, if you turn the autopilot on while doing this, I'm not sure if it'll work too well, uh, but let's go with 111, okay, altitude hold on, perfect, and we'll select the location, and if it dips in altitude, we've got a bit of an issue, uh, but it might be fine. So, I'll right, go ahead and shove this in there. And then turn it on. Off we go. Let's see what happens. No, it, it flies completely fine with this thing. Uh, which is perfect. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. If you guys want to check this thing out, I'll link it down below. And you guys can play around with it for yourselves. Um, it's awesome. Look at all the detail on the outside too. All of the random drawings and stuff. Navy. It's got rescue written on the side. 13. Oh, it is. Beautiful boy. Beautiful boy. It's even got a spade on it. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and link this down below if you guys want to check it out for yourselves. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.